Hey, so, alright, um, yesterday was so eventful. My little brother brought a knife to school, and then my little cousin came out. My house is in crisis mode. Alright, so about my little brother, alright, so he's eight, and, um, he goes to a private school. It's like a Catholic school. And you probably think I'm really fat for eating these. But they're naturally fat free. Whatever. Um, so, yeah. So he goes to like a Catholic school. And he's a really good kid. And he's class president. He's in third grade. He like does all these really good things. And, um... He plays baseball and helps other kids and is really nice. And he brought a knife to school. <laughs> but here's the thing. He didn't use the knife. He didn't plan on using the knife. In fact, the knife was not even brought out of the backpack. No, it wasn't brought out of the backpack at all, actually. But nobody saw the knife until he was on the bus. That's when shit got hectic. Because he was sitting with this little boy... And he showed the boy, he was like, hey, want to see what I have? And he unzipped his bag and showed him his pocket knife. The kid told on him, told the bus driver. So, of course, like, the bus driver has to, like, call the principal and stuff. And, well, okay, first of all, what the fuck, kid? Like, you're not a good friend. And he was, I think he was really mad at my brother because one time they were texting on the bus and the bus driver told on them because I guess you can't have cell phones on the bus. Why my brother has a cell phone is beyond me anyway. I mean, he's eight. But, um, the other kid was swearing, and my brother wasn't, because my brother's a good kid. My brother's just like, oh, like, oh, well. And, um, so I think the kid was mad at my brother still, so he told on him. And that just goes to show he's not a very good friend, Spence. So pick better friends. I feel like that kid should get in trouble, not my brother. But there are consequences at home. He got grounded this for the weekend. And he's not allowed to have the knife. My mom took it. But whatever. I I thought that was harsh, so I gave him an ice cream cone. The chocolate kind. He's really sensitive. He was crying. Um and then my oh my god. So my mom's crazy. My mom is insane. She She's just actually crazy. And, um... So, like, I'm a lesbo. And she knows this. And she gets mad when I talk about it. And she gets mad when I say homo. Like, I don't... I think the word lesbian is gross. I don't like it. The word gay, like, that. that's weird, too. Um, like, I don't know. Just all those words are weird. So I'm just like, oh, I'm a homo. My mom gets so pissed. But, I mean, whatever. Um... So I'm not allowed to talk about it. I'm not allowed to publicize it. I'm not allowed to put it on Facebook. Um, my family's not allowed to know. Last year for my family graduation party, my girlfriend came to see me. And that was a big deal because she lived six hours away in New Jersey. And I was really excited that she was coming. And I was like, oh my god, yeah. And my mom was like, um, but she's just your friend. And I'm not supposed to tell her family that I'm not straight. So I was like, oh. <laughs> and I just came out on Facebook before all my family came. Because my mom doesn't use her Facebook, so she doesn't know. But whatever. So my cousin, he's my mom's sister's son. And this is the aunt. Oh, my God. Okay, so. Sorry, sorry. That was bothering me. So this is the aunt. She's, 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 in, she's nuts. She's fucking nuts. She's nuts. She, for Christmas and my birthday and all the major holidays, I either get a Bible, um, some kind of, like, religious music. I used to get Reliant K, got a lot of Toby Mac, um, the Barlow girls. Yeah. Um, she, like, she's crazy. She just gives me all these, like, religious things and used to take me to Bible camp when I would visit her and funded my... Catholic education, the first half of freshman year when I went, <laughs> I left there, I'm smart, but, um, 
Yeah, stuff like that. Like, we have a dog who barks at all the gay people who come into my house. I don't know how she has that. Like, I don't know how she knows, but she does. Like, you would think it was a gift from my aunt. It's actually not. But you would think. So this woman's nuts. She's nuts. So my cousin, you know, he's, like, out to dinner, and he asks his mom, can I get a tux so I can go to prom with my boyfriend? She lost it. And she sent everyone in the family an email. Like, this is, don't do this. Like, not your decision. His decision. She sent us not all an email that was like, oh, I'm not going to say his name because that's not okay. Um, oh, wait, I have a cousin named Brian. Um, oh, Jared came out. Um, this was his way of telling us that he was bi. And, well, she said, she told us a story pray for him. My mom is nuts, but she's not that nuts, and she was like, I'm not gonna pray for him. Pray, I'm gonna pray for her, and I'm gonna pray that she can come to accept it and be okay with it. I'm not gonna, no, there's nothing wrong with him being who he is. But, but, what? 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 How, like, does that, like, does that make sense? Does that make any sense? No. And my mom was, like, on the phone with his mom, and, like, she was hysterical, and, like, now they're punishing him, and they think that if they punish him and take him to church, it'll make him realize he's actually straight. Good joke. Um, but, yeah. That's my update. So, yesterday was really insane at my house, and, um, I left. And I'm... Now I'm eating marshmallows and um, getting ready because I have to go get job applications because my mom wants me to get a job, which is stupid. But I'm going to wear this shirt that makes me look like a big old lesbian. So, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be. So I'm hoping that, I mean, my town's pretty homophobic. So I'm hoping that, like, if I look like a lesbian, they'll think I'm a lesbian, and then they won't hire me. Like, look. And I'll button it up to here. It's pretty... It's pretty dyke, I think. I think it's pretty dyke. Um, my, my neighbors, they're lesbos, and they're old. And, um, they're so weird. They have an upside-down, like, gay pride flag in their yard. Like, a big one. Like, it's on a flagpole. Like, under an American flag. And I just don't get it. Um, but they're really nice. And they are, always have yard sales and let my brother come take the toys for free. One time they gave him a football. He likes them. I like them. They're nice. They're just... I don't understand why it's upside down. I'll Google it. Maybe that means... Not straight, not man. I don't know. But... I guess that wasn't that good of a story. Oh, and I have this problem now where I'm becoming a fan of every LOL JK page on um, Facebook. Well, not become a fan anymore. Liking. And they're so funny, though. I die every time. Like, like what's a good one? <laughs> I'll run away with you. LOL JK, I have asthma, I die. <laughs> Um, I take a bullet for you. LLJK, I die! <laughs> I jump in the ocean to save you. LLJK, I strained my hair today! <laughs> They're really funny. Like, I can't... I'm actually gonna go read some now. And if anybody wants to do me a favor and um, create the page, hey, I have puppies in my car if you want to come see. LLJK, I'm a pedophile. I'll be really good friends with you. And I'll do anything you want me to. I will get on my knees and give you a job if you can make that page for me because I really want to become a fan. But in the event I want to be a politician, I can't be the one that like makes the page. You know, I don't. So if you don't want to be a politician, make that page for me, please. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now and go drink my coffee. I don't even know where it is, but I need to go drink it and iron that shirt, the dyke shirt. Okay, thanks. Bye.